Well, 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 welcome to my channel. My name is Crypto the Dipto. If you are new here, smash that freaking like button. If you aren't new here, what's up? As you can see by the title, today I'm going to be talking about two podcasts that you could and should be watching so you can grow your mind and your bank account and just your whatever. Just grow everything. You just, you just need to grow. I don't really work out. Okay, so as you can tell by the title, I'm going to talk about two podcasts that you can watch so you can learn, so you can be on the move, so you can stay motivated, and so you can grow. I'm also going to talk about two books and two pieces of advice, okay? So the first podcast that I'm going to be talking about is a podcast that goes by Crypto News Alerts, okay? So this is good if you're joining in, if you're new to crypto, if you're advanced. You know, it's just something that you can keep on in the background so you can constantly keep learning. You know, if you're used to driving and listening to the radio, you know, maybe you should try listening to a podcast so you're constantly learning. Even when you're driving, you can constantly learn. If you're doing laundry, you know, there's always ways to learn even when you're on the move and even when you think you are at your busiest. Okay, so Crypto News Alerts is the first podcast that I'm talking about. And my all-time favorite second podcast, it's very brief. They only have 20 episodes. Um, it's called Rich Habits. <clears throat> Now, if you're familiar with this podcast, then you're going to know it's extremely good. If you aren't familiar with this podcast, I bet you're familiar with this. Do you guys and girls remember the Silly Bands? You know, so if you don't, Silly Bands was a rubber band that was made to put around your wrist. But the second you took it off, it would form into an animal. These were called Silly Bands. These were created by a person named Robert Crow. Now, he goes live on TikTok. His information is absolute gold. Like, it is titanium covered golden nuggets of little information. It's just absolutely amazing. He goes live on TikTok and he has a podcast which is called Rich Habits. They have 20 episodes. These are the two podcasts that I highly recommend you check out. Very good. Um, I wa When I watch TikTok now, I try to do things that are informative. When I listen to the radio, I usually listen to AM, which is 1130, which is Bloomberg Radio for those people that are in New York or want to tune in. So try to do things where you're constantly learning and try to cut out the shit that's bad for you. You know, I used to play video games all the time. Now I play them sometimes because listen, your days cannot be completely serious. You got to have some fun, you know, so if you're going to go watch Netflix, Maybe put on a documentary or something. I'm not saying your life has to be boring by any means. Listen, I love movies and I'm a huge movie buff. As an extra, actually, I'm going to throw in two movies that are absolutely amazing. If you've ever heard of the gangster John Gotti, and I'm not talking about the remake with John Travolta because that is straight doo-doo cheeks. That movie sucked ass. Check out the movie Gotti. It was filmed in 1996. And another movie I want you to check out is called Mean Streets. If you are a movie buff and you've never seen these movies, they are absolutely amazing. Mwah. Okay, back to the topic at hand. So we discussed two podcasts, okay? Uh, Crypto News Alerts. <clears throat> Crypto News Alerts. And the second podcast is called Rich Habits. It's with Robert Croak, and I believe this 22-year-old young kid that basically, you know, asks the questions, and then Rob will discuss about it. He teaches you, you know, if you should open up a traditional Roth, a normal Roth, you know, how to invest your money. Very good. I'm not going to give it away or spoil it, okay? And last but not least, I wanted to give you girls and guys and pickles and pineapple. I wanted to give you guys and girls, you know, two books that are absolutely amazing. If you're a beginner, you can start by reading Stock Market Intelligence by Jeff Luke. It's a very short book, as you can see, but the information you get from this, absolutely amazing. Now, the second book that I think is a little bit more advanced, very nice. It's got some nice feng shui. I don't know if this is like ostrich leather. It, it might be an ostrich ostrich cover for me that yeah okay um very nice book comes with two little dangly bookmarks very cool ray dalio principles this is the second book i would highly suggest you guys and girls check out so we have two podcasts two books and two pieces of advice that i'm going to give right now the first piece is that 
maybe you should start thinking about things with a mind that is always trying to make money. So for example, when the movie, when I seen, when I started seeing posters for the movie Barbie, it instantly had me thinking, this is how my brain works. And once you get to train your brain to a certain point, you will think about everything like this, okay? Because listen, this channel is gonna be about crypto, it's gonna be about stocks, it's gonna be about entertainment, it's gonna be about gaming. Whatever I wanna talk about, this is gonna be the channel, okay? But I'm gonna mainly focus on crypto, stocks, maybe sometimes in self-growth. So if that's something you're interested in, join the Dipto gang. We are constantly growing and I'm so grateful for 250 subscribers. Thank you to every single one of you. Okay, so the piece of advice is, I saw Barbie on all these bus stops, which had me thinking, okay, the movie's coming out. When people go see it, new kids are going to get introduced to what a Barbie is. They're going to find out that you can buy the Barbie from the stores. What does buying entail? Buying means increased prices. I mean, not increased prices, I'm sorry. It means increased money flowing into the company that owns Barbie. So I said, what is the company that owns Barbie? I Googled it, it's Mattel. So I decided to buy a little piece of stock in Mattel. Now the movie didn't even come out yet, but it's up a little bit. So you know, if you start to think like this, you will notice the patterns around you in the world and you will start to think the same way and you will invest. Now my second piece of advice is, I don't know. I just decided to go with the 222 topic, but I'll just make something up, I guess. Um, uh, buy your fruits from a local farmer's market because they put pesticides and GMOs in, you, in your fruits. Thank you for watching my channel. My name is Crypto at the Dip Dough. Subscribe, like, and have a blessed day. I love you all. Thank you for watching, and I'll be back. Peace.